So John chapter 4, can you take me there? From 34, Jesus said to them, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish the work. Say, I must finish the work. He yeah, said, I must finish the work. Now, what is your meat? What is your meat? Jesus sent the disciples, go and get me meat. And they came with water. By the time they came, a woman has gone to bring all the men of the city. And Jesus said, I am full. And Jesus was trying to tell them, my food is not wache. Wache is good, but what keeps me going is souls. Now, what is your meat? Don't assume that somebody's meat is your meat. That's why there's a local prayer that one man's meat is another man's poison. I thought you were here. You are not here. What somebody like, you will not like. What Shadeko likes, maybe you don't like. What Benny's like, you don't like. If it is you and it is your wedding, you dress white, white. You, you wear black shoe. You wear white. But that is why it is not your wedding. That is why what you like is not what they like. Jesus said, my meat, I have a meat. And my meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. That means that everything that Jesus did was two things. It's to what? Do what the will of the Father and to finish it. You to what is your meat? To sleep with people. All your motive for soul winning is to get girls. You are quiet. Your motive for church is to become popular. Your motive, the God, he called up aside, let my church be established, let this church be established, is for people to praise you, for you to get offering. So that is your meat. Now, if that is the meat, you should find out, is that meat the will of God for your life? Any time you know the will of God for your life, what happens to you that your angels are activated and the demons assign you activated. Demons don't have time for everybody. What did I say? There are not enough demons to worry all of us. The best they can give you is allow their principles to keep working on you. That is why I believe that when Jesus comes and we are facing judgment and you say, the devil, the devil will say, God, I beg you, this one, I was not there. Me and you can test that. I was in Akosomu and he was in Accra. I, I was not there. God, you, you know, that was when I was convincing this one to do that. That time you realize that day cry even from there, I went to bridge ministries. I didn't even go there. Then God will ask, so how did you do it? The sister will say, that I just left him to his own mindset. He only operated by what he wanted to do. And he's trying to say, it is me that has caused it. Hello? Your high is not good at all. So look at some say, what is your meat? Is it well? What is your meat? Oh, amen. I can't hear your Amen. amen. Then look at the next verse, verse 35. Say not ye, there are yet four months, and then cometh harvest. So somebody come there and say that, Misha, um, by June, by June, by June, by, okay, so by September, I'm talk out. Oh, by this time, I should be this. So people, Jesus is saying, don't you say that there's four months, and then cometh the harvest. Then he says, everybody, please listen to this. Behold, I say unto you, lift up your eyes and look on the fields. They are already white to harvest. Now hear me. Look at this and lift up your eyes. I didn't hear you. I didn't hear you. I didn't hear you. Now the guy was saying that, Jesus said that, they said that, okay, let me give you. Which month is going to help us get a lot of corn in Ghana? Corn. Who can help me? Which month? I want corn. If I want corn today, can I get some easily? Answer me. Eh? Is there corn in town? Somebody said yes. Someone said no. Is there corn in town? No. Yes. Okay, let's talk. Is there corn in town? No. Minister Andrew says yes. Andrew, where is corn? 
corn in the storehouse. So Andrew says there is corn in the storehouse. You say there is no corn. It means Andrew knows something you don't know. And so if today they say anybody who wants one million dollars, bring corn, you will say there is no corn because the time for corn is not near. But Andrew says there is corn. And Andrew also does national service in their villages. So I'm sure when he's coming, you can see some farms that still have corn. And if you're in Accra, you don't see corn. They only harvest it and bring it to you. When you are in the village, you can see corn and it is growing. So you know that there is corn. Am I talking to somebody here? I'm not talking to somebody here. So when Jesus asked them, what time is it for you to be successful? What did they say? It is four months. But Jesus said, don't say it's four months. Lift up your eyes and see. Because the field is already white. In other words, the harvest is ready. How many of you want to move very fast in this month, this year? Can I teach you? Some people say things like, God is slow. I don't like God. God is so slow. Look, God is not slow. God asked Jeremiah, let me calm down. What do you see? Look at that, what do you see? I didn't hear you. Henry, what did you see in Venice? Venice, what did you see? Is it, is it, oh. Hey, hey, yeah. So, um, let me have my hand mic. What this is why they are here. What you didn't see, Venice was your friend. That's why you didn't marry. Henry was your friend. It's something they saw. So, God, Jeremiah, do you see? What do you see? He said, I see a more trees. He said, you see well. And because you see well, I will hasten my word to perform it. God only works as fast as how you see. Wait a Somebody can be very close to you, but you don't see the person. I can tell you that when you are saying, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the person will shaking the hands. Was to be. <laughs> but you could, you, know, you don't have Ephra. Thank you. You couldn't see. When we're buying this land, hundreds came here, including Pastor, please take your seat. And they said this land was a useless land, water lock. Who can buy? Who will buy? The day I stepped here, I said, that is the place I'll buy. They said, are you, are you Korah? I said, yes, I want it. The day we were buying this, I would say that it was raining heavily and the water was here. And that's the day I said, I'm ready. Let's back in. You want this. The whole house is taking over. I knew I was going to put the building down. So what is the essence of the rain? Why? I knew they were going to construct the road. And when they construct the rain, the rain will not come here again. The people who are selling doesn't even know. That's why people have sold their, their Atakwame dying to the miners, because they didn't know that that building contained gold. And that's, I will buy you a house at Trasaco. Give me your village. You mean, you buy me a house at Trasaco and you take my, what, my wedding house? Oh, I agree. <laughs> you are staying in gold, but you don't see gold, because you don't know gold. You don't understand gold. A man paid tight for years. And then first, when he was paying tithe, he was succeeding. Finally, for years, he was giving his tithe, and the more he tithed, the more things went bankrupt. He was a rice farmer. He was what? Rice. Good. So one day, he went to the pastor and said that, I've decided to sell the land, because anytime I grow rice, it doesn't grow again, and I'll relocate to another land, another territory, and then have business. Please don't sleep. Amen. When he sold the land, somebody else came to the land and said, why is it that rice cannot grow on this land? First, rice can grow. So let's check why grass cannot, um, rice cannot grow. He brought people to check, not only the oil has started developing in the land. That is why grass, um, what, rice cannot grow. He has paid tight and God is giving him black gold. But you see, because he didn't have understanding on the soil, he sold that place to somebody and the person came to enjoy the tight of his labor because he did not have light. May you receive light this year. Yeah. 
So he said, what do you see? He said, I see almond trees. If you had said you see coconut tree, God would say, you will suffer. But brass, why are you? But brass, why are you? See this business. This is it, it cannot do well. Mama, mama, this business they don't do well. Some of the people were told by Mark Zugre, so Zugre, Costa Zugre, Facebook, that we are all friends. Can we come together and do this Facebook? Can we invest? Oh, who will go to Facebook? We are talking face to face. Huh? You say Facebook. What is Facebook? Now they can't get it. It is gone. That guy was in school. I hear he was in the university. He went around every room, every hall, pasting it. Who will join? Who will join? Who will join? They could not see it. God asked Jeremiah, what do you see? He said, I see Amor. He said, you have seen well. And because you have seen well, yours will not believe. I will hasten my word to perform it. I will make your miracle come very far. If you, if you see your pastor like some comedian, you always come and laugh and go. Of course, me to crack jokes fine, so you laugh. I can make you laugh all day. So, what do you see? Because how do you see? I didn't hear you. I didn't hear you. I want everything to say. What you see, God came to Abraham, Genesis 13, said, as far as you can see, I have given it to you. What you don't see, you can't have. No amount of prayer will give you what you don't see. Put your hands on your eyes and say, oh Lord, open my eyes. I didn't hear you. Say, oh Lord, I want to see well. I didn't hear you. A doctor takes a scan, puts it on a pregnant woman, and says it's a boy. And sometimes when the doctor cannot see well, he says, the baby has turned. Come back another day and let me cross check so that I can tell you because he cannot say for saying sake, he must see well to tell you. Because if he tells you it's a boy, or he tells you it's a girl, and you start buying boys' dress, girls' dress, preparing only to give birth, and it is opposite. You know what he has done? He has made you waste money and you have wasted resources. Is it possible you are wasting a lot of resources dating wrong people because you didn't see well? This one comes, go. This one comes, go. This one comes, go. Everyone you see, you like One day somebody came to me and said, the Lord has said, and I was not married, that me to have prayed, and God has shown me that my wife is the one. That, that God said that this particular lady is for him. I said, hey! I said, okay. Then I said, okay, you can go and talk to her. Then she was, he was like, but can you help me? Hey, I said, what kind of help do you need? I need some few information, what she likes, what she doesn't like, so I can talk to her. There and then, I knew he has not seen well. If you see well, it is not feeling, you know. So I gave him some few keys. And one day, I was standing somewhere, and he and the girl were talking, my wife were talking. My heart was... I couldn't stand it, so I picked a car straight, went to Kumasi to do fasting and prayer. I was there, and the lady called my wife, called me and said, Me, this guy is so troublesome. When he be here, you know, I said, Oh, he's talking to you. What? He said, Anytime I talk to you, I mean, I'm even getting angry behind the phone. The way I was happy, but you know, I must, I'm a counselor, you know, I must talk with him. So I came back to Accra. And this guy came to me and told me that, uh, not knowing he didn't see it well, he didn't hear well, is this other lady? Guess what? He dated that lady to uh, it didn't become well. 
Then one day I called him. And I said, my son, you see the lady you messed up with? He's the one. He said, Papa, Hey! No, 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 she can't be. I said, she's. She said, Are you sure? I said, he's the one. That time he has insulted the girl, told the girl she's a useless girl. Nothing good can come out of her. When you don't see well, you pamper those who must not be pampered. You give your pampering to wrong people. You invest in the wrong investment. So uh, to cut a long story short, I invited the lady to like this guy so much that out of frustration, the lady took leave from work, BNI, to go and work in BNI, Takrade, straight, so that they don't even meet again because the lady couldn't control it. To cut a long story short, I called the lady to come down from Takrade for all night. We're doing all night. I said, I have a word for her. She should come. When she came, I said, she'll get here by five. So, oh my God, the all night starts at 10. Why should I get here by five? I said, you come. She came by five. When she came, I told brother social and so to you to be here at five. He also came. I said, today I want to eat this. Can you two go to the junction? Go and buy food for me and come. Go and buy food. The food never arrived. The next thing they told me, they want to get married. It will shock you. Since 2000 and, uh, see 2001 or 2002, today is 20, so over 20 years, they are still married. <laughs> well, the question is, what did this guy hear and what did he see? If you see, God will not push your agenda. He does not hasten your agenda. He hastens his agenda. And what he presents to you, if you don't see it, he will not hasten it. He will delay you till you change and see what you must see. You are quiet. Is it likely you are in a wrong relationship? You dated there for 14 years. <laughs> Any time you have to marry, something happens. It's your God. Stop the prayer. See well. Oh Lord, open the eye of somebody here so that the person can see well and enter into his or her season. If you are the one, shout, I receive it. I receive it. Oh, he doesn't hasten your word. God is not hastening your word. You have said, this is my year. I will succeed. This is my year. I will make it. This is my year. I will give birth. This is my year. I will buy a house. He doesn't hasten your word. He hastens his word to perform it. Because if you heard him, then he has a right to make it to come to pass. But if you tell yourself, am I talking to somebody here? So John chapter 4 back. 35, say not ye that there are yet four months, and then command the harvest. Behold, I say unto you, lift up your eyes, look on the fields, for they are white already to harvest. Let me ask you a question. Who needs money here? The money you need, are they now going to cut it? Are they now going to manufacture it? It is there, you don't see it. How many of you want to marry? The man or the woman you want to marry, are they not going to give birth to them? No, they are born. They are there. You have not seen them. The, where your house will be built, do you know? No. But, but the land that you will build your house on, the stone, the rock, the cement, the iron rods, they are all there. The problem is that you have not seen. So when you see the speed of your life changes, when you don't see, your, the speed of your life does not change. May you see well from today. Uh, your amen is like you are not okay, you won't. Now why did he say lift up your eyes? Never look down. What you need doesn't come from a, listen, you must lift up. Someone say lift up. 
what you must see must be above you. What you must see must be above you. God will never invest in anything that is within your limit. Because if you can do it, you don't need God. So God will only give you what you cannot do so that you will require him to assist you to do it. I know this building. There is no way I can build it. My whole life savings cannot put up this building. That is why I lift up my eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help. My help comes from the great God who made the heavens and the earth. Now the problem with us is that if God says you will do well, you will start a business, you start looking at people instead of looking at God. Mary, you have found favor. You are going to give birth to a child. Ha! Ah, me? How can I, since I know not a man, what a wonderful statement. He said it right. If it is me, I say, hey, I have Joseph. And Joseph, cry, I don't know. Mary said, I don't have a man. That was a lie. Because Mary had Joseph. But Mary knew that for what, for the Messiah to be born, Joseph doesn't have what it takes to give that to Messiah. Joseph's anointing is no messianic. He needed something which was above. So he asked the angel, told the angel, he said, what? I don't have any man. Look, there is something that God wants to do for you. And there is no man that can do it. Your Joseph can assist you. Your Joseph can advise you. But the one that can cause you to come to pass is Jehovah God. And so the angel said, the power of the Most High shall overshadow you. And there shall be a performance of the things that have been spoken. And Mary said, be it unto me according to your word. It came to pass. When, when Zachary Zachariah's turn came. Zachariah was trying to stop the word. I, I can't give birth. My family. Angel is speaking. You won't keep quiet. As long as it is his word, God can watch over it to perform it. So God had to shut him up because if he keeps speaking, God's timing must delay. And God's time, time, timing delay, Mary um, will take seed before Elizabeth. So somebody's timing and your timing must rhyme. And sometimes when your timing can rhyme with somebody, then God must intervene in your situation because you also carry part of the deal. And I came to announce to somebody here that one of the best ways to get into your time is look for somebody who is timing himself, preparing himself for the move of God. When you join yourself to the person, it is likely that you can have an explosion. Somebody an explosion. No, I said this that the Bible said, Acts chapter 1, verse 8. He said, When the Holy Ghost shall come upon you, you shall be filled with power. That word power is dynamite, dunamis, explosion. I don't know anybody who tells me you have Holy Ghost and you don't explode. I wonder which ghost you have. Because they are Holy Ghost. So they can be evil ghost, family ghost, friends ghost, ancestral ghost. Because he said, you, should, you shall be filled with power. Some say power. And that word power is a dynamite. Now, if, if you've not watched it before, watch movies, action movies, war movies. When police come, when I have a dynamite and you are by me and the dynamite, dynamite explodes, am I the only one going to explode? Everything around me explodes. Now, if God is blessing your neighbor, join your neighbor because it means that he's in the neighborhood and if he's in the neighborhood, the likelihood that you do, you will feel that blessing some is great. Don't become jealous. Don't become bitter. Don't envy the person because when you don't connect to it, the dynamite explosion, you will not have that explosion. Dynamite destroys, but the Holy Ghost does not destroy. When you see See that God is blessing somebody. Connect yourself to the blessing. Wait, mom, wait. You close the door. Why are you not part of the wedding? They didn't invite me. You are not serious. Should they invite you to be part? I don't see something good and I don't get myself involved. Well, see, when you see an opportunity and you pass by the opportunity, you have missed an opportunity. 
You know something I always say that if you invest in an opportunity, what happens is that if it breaks through, you get some. If it doesn't break through, you stand to lose nothing. At least you helped. I don't take people to school because I want to take people to school. I take people to school because I know when they become great, tight is not enough for me. And so she is. Tight. Tight. 10%. 10% is... No. If this product was coming from 10% tight, we won't be here. Some of my children will come and say, for the next three months, my salary is for the building. I said, uh-huh. Why would people give you three months, six months of salary? Why would they do that? You think it is just for giving? You think, no, it, uh, God spoke to them. It, God didn't speak to them. No, it is not God. When you have invested in the right channels, when the channel opens, there's no way the water will not flow to you. If I see that water is coming from this way and I want some, I stand by it. The water will flow towards me. I'll get my portion. But I'm not going to go this way and say that water, follow me. Water creates its own channel. If you don't create a channel for water, water will pass and create its own channel. May you never miss an opportunity in life. I didn't hear your amen. I didn't hear your amen. Years ago, my spiritual father came from US. And when he came, Pastor Daniel volunteered to get somebody to get us uh, a car. It's not like today that we have so many cars <laughs> packed and people are envious. <laughs> we didn't even have a good car. So Pastor Daniel went to his friend and he gave us some nice Camry. Come and see the Camry. It wasn't easy. As soon as the Camry came, Pastor Charles decided to buy the fuel for the Camry. Not too long he bought a car. He had never bought a car before. When he bought the car, his own cousin also said, Kai, this car you have bought, me too, I want to buy a car. He also bought fuel into the car. He also bought a car. He also bought fuel and he also bought a small car. It's like it, it kept reducing. He, you, bought, you brought Camry. When they bought fuel, he bought Kari yes, Nai. Then the, the cousin bought Matrix. Then match. Then you, you bought that small one called what? Matrix. Small. So small, smaller, smaller. They kept reducing it, reducing it to became bicycle. Am I, am I talking to somebody here? Now you don't have money to buy a house. Somebody is dying, needs hundred cities to just pay rent. And you have an opportunity. The thing is kicking you. The thing is choking you. See, I bind the devil. Kapo shakata. I bind that devil. Zampako dobo. That hundred cities. You, the kind of house you want to rent, that hundred cannot even rent it for one day. One day they won't take it. But that is somebody's one man. The person needs a hey, kapo. Let me keep this hundred. God, you add more. Zankanama. I can promise you. I give you two weeks. You will use the money to buy donut, rice water, and it will finish. And you will never break through. Because time and chance happens unto us all. God gives everybody an opportunity. And when you don't grab the opportunity, you miss it. You did not see the opportunity. You missed that opportunity. That hundred cities was an opportunity to assess your next level. I've opened doors. I have I have opened doors that was not openable. Me. I hope I can give you a lot of testimony. I've opened doors that people tried, they could not open. And I just got in the open and they asked me, Pastor, how did you do it? And I laugh. Oh, amen. I remember when we were building our old building. I'm teaching you about time centers. I drove my car, hit a cab, and ah. Uh, I was sad. When the car hit the curb, my wife laughed at me. We always used to laugh at me. She got out of the car. I was still in the car. I know what I was looking for. My phones. <laughs> People say, a job I've been talking to me. My car says, so I'm a phone. So I made a bubble break across. 
has come been looking for. I came out with it. Air back blast everything has hit my face. My face was red. My wife's face was red. The arms were red. Air back, a boy and I was contemplating. I remember though, I've done insurance. So I said, cool. So they brought the insurance. They gave me the insurance, 5,000. I said, Lord, I'm going to buy my next car. I'll buy another car. I went to town, asked for a car. Any car that I got, it's either I go to the same level or lower level. That 5,000 can't do anything. Then the Lord said, Francis, buy, buy cement for building. I said, God, I did three days fasting. God will make a way where there's no way. Somebody will come bring a car which is very cheap and will tell me the man of God pay it in base. Oh Lord, I know you make a way for me. It's a prophesy that a new car is coming. I speak a new car is coming. I prophesy. Sometimes even when I'm preaching, I say, I can see a car. I can see a car. Master, car was not coming. <laughs> now, I saw a church member who was using some car, a small car. Now, I was using it. I'll not forget it. Portia is here. She called me and said, Daddy, car with the Avatar <laughs> Woo. I was using, I was, I was going down and down and down. I was driving the car. Members would seem to say, Daddy, this car, dear. Now, I have to go. When the person needs the car, the person will come for it. If I, what is suffering? One day I went and bought cement, brought it to the building. Guess what? Not too long. I bought Sorrento, bought ML Benz. I bought ML for my wife. I bought Sorrento for myself. I bought Saturn Vu for Pastor David. I bought bicycle uh, moto. I gave Andrew, go and buy a motorbike. What the enemy can do? Go and buy a motorbike. I got enough money. I came to the building. Everything we needed for the building. I came. We bought everything. Now, when we're building, when we get to the toilet, you go and remove it. When we need to, you go and remove it. How did it come in? How did it come in? The opportunity, the accident, the devil meant it for evil. But God meant it for good. The devil thought that that would disgrace me. Now, I move on to my next level. Yeah, man. Guys, is no more problem. You miss your opportunities because, listen, anything that you are giving to God, you never lose. Car. Now, if I get visitors, those days they can come 25 black Americans. Today, if they come, now that we have cars, they don't come. They should come and try me. I'll give each one of them a car. Fully nyanya. I remember I had a car when they came, Pastor Daniel. The, the CD was no when they went to chum, 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 chum. The, the, my spiritual father's were said, he said, My son, if it's not working, disconnect it. I didn't need you as much as me, but I'm just I'm trying. Now tell me, what I'm trying to tell you is that you can easily be here and think that, oh, my season is not come very soon. Look, when you tell yourself very soon, you have erred. Because yesterday, last week I was telling you that hope is tomorrow. Faith is now. Faith is now. So the Bible says, lift up your eyes and see. Now, the harvest is ripe. You say it is for us. Don't look for your miracle tomorrow. Look for your miracle when? Now! Eh? If I become rich, then I will decide who to marry. No. Now that you are nothing, now, decide who you marry and see if it will work. Because when you become great, everybody will marry you. Even Lucifer will, will not marry. Then, let's go, John chapter 4. The next verse, 36, please. And he that reaped receiver wages and gathered fruit unto the eternal, but b- that both he that showed and he that reaped may what? Reap together. The next one, quickly. And here is the same true. One showed and another reaps. Say, Lord, I have been sowing, but I want to move into the time of reaping. Listen, listen. I don't want you to take me there, but read your Bible. Genesis 8, 22. The Bible said, seed time and harvest 
shall never cease. It never said harvest time because harvest doesn't have a time. Harvest is determined by you. Okay, take me there. Give, give me John, um, sorry, Genesis 8, 22, please. Let's read. Whilst the earth remains, seed time and harvest. As for seed time, if you miss it, forget harvest. What is seed time? Seed time is when an opportunity is seen to give. Are you with me? When opportunities passes by, you miss it. As long as you have done the seed time, you determine your harvest. So first, I have you saying, why don't I get breakthrough? You don't get breakthrough because you have never determined your harvest before. You have never said, by this time, by when a farmer plants corn, can tell himself that three months, can go to town and start telling people that three months time, will you come to my farm and let us start harvesting the Christian? He's not seen anything, but he knows that by three months, this corn must bear fruit so that I can harvest it through of us. But you, you sow a seed and you don't even know what to do. You say, I don't know what is happening. Seed time and harvest. May you decide your harvest today. Amen. I said, may you decide your harvest today. Amen. I said, may you decide your harvest today. Yeah. You come and sow a seed, and the man of God says, next time may it be more. I receive it. It is not enough. Go crazy and tell God, God, your servant said it must be more. I can't take less. Then you have not called your servant. I must go with more. Because when it is your word, you push it. You hasten it. So I expect the more. And God said, who is this talking? It is me. Because that is your word. You said I should decide the harvest. This is my decision for the harvest. This is how I want it. This is when I want it. Because no farmer plants a crop and does not know the time that a harvest will come. If I plant cocoa yam, I know when to expect my crop. If I plant cocoa. I know next week I'm not harvesting. I know one year I'm not harvesting. So I am patient. But I know that cocoa doesn't come like the other crops. But when it is time for the cocoa to bear food and the cocoa is not bearing food, then I have a reason to get worried because I know what I planted. May you enter into your season. So he said, I send you to where you did not sow. One thing that can also determine your season is when God sends you. Never joke with the scent. I know I've taught you before, but let me teach it again. Never joke with the scent. Who shall I send? I want somebody. Let's take it that you are there. And your father, your mother, somebody, your boss, your pastor, somebody is better than you, says, ah, I wish somebody can get me kinky and fish. Yesterday, whilst we were eating some particular kinky and fish, you ate it and said, this kinky pie, if I get some, I'll get it for my boss. And when the person said kinky and fish, straight away, your brain went to kinky and fish. Instead of you volunteering and saying that, can I please be the one? He said, wait, I'm a fairy. Oh. I fairy will harvest. Our fairy will break through. I sent you to reap where you did not sow. Now, there are so many people who have invested and they don't want to reap. And God wants you to be the one to enter in and enjoy it free. Is it true or is it not true? Ah, I've seen it before when a man takes care of men of God, he's been men of God and he fell into a problem and all the men deserted him. I came in and I said, by the grace of God, this problem is solved. You will not have it again. And not too long, a month, the doors opened. And when the doors opened, he said, man of God, all the people deserted me. You don't want was there. This is this amount of money. What do you want me to do to it? I said, oh, let me give everybody some. He said, no, don't give them. They are wicked people. They left. I said, if you do that, it's not going to operate. So I said, man of God, take half and the rest share it for all of them. I said, that is not bad. Now, they work for 10 years. I came in for one month. I said, they work for what? 10 years. I came in for one month. And when I came in, I solved all the problems that they have not been able to solve for 10 years. Joseph, magicians have been there when they were installing Pharaoh as king. His administrators have been there. 
But the day Pharaoh had a dream that nobody could interpret it, and it was only Joseph that can interpret it, that changed Joseph's season. Your season is changed by the problems you are determined to solve for somebody. Anytime you solve a problem for somebody, you have been enlisted into a season. May God bring you a problem you can solve. Amen. Your amen is not good at all. Amen. I said your problem is I said your problem. May God give you a problem you can solve. Amen. Receive a solution to a problem you can solve. Amen. Come on, give the Lord a mighty clap offering here. Amen. Now lift up and say, Lord, take me into a harvest that I don't know about. And when I enter, give me the grace to solve the problem. Like Joseph, when I enter a palace, let me be the solution to the palace. Lift your voice and pray. God, Matthew chapter 25, 10 to 12. Amen. Three things that can deprive you of your season, adding to what you have. One, I've already given you light, eh? So you can take light, light, oil, fire. Say it. Light, oil, fire. You see, Galatians, before you go to the Matthew 25, Galatians chapter 6, verse 9 said, Do not be weary in doing good, for in due season you shall reap if you faint not. The word faint is that you lack fire. You become tired. Now, in Matthew chapter 25, the story is told about 10 virgins. Some say 10 virgins. And I'll end on these 10 virgins today. I'll continue the rest on Wednesday. Say 10 virgins. I didn't hear. Say 10 virgins. The most painful thing in life is to be holy and a fool. You are holy, Pastor Ichi. There are virgins, but the Bible called five wise and five foolish. So that's why we say that Mary was not chosen because she was she was a virgin. She should be a wise virgin. This ten. Listen to me carefully. They waited, 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 waited. Nobody was coming. The person was. Many people have been waiting for my miracle. God, when is my miracle? God, when is my miracle? God, my miracle. God, my miracle. My miracle. Then they had. The miracle is coming. The person is coming. Yeah, I receive it. Yeah, everybody is ready. I said that I receive it. Then they all went to their lamp. When they got to their lamp, they realized that all of them, all the ten, their lamp was out. They have run out of kerosene, fuel, gas. But in this in those days, they didn't use kerosene. They used oil. So they all ran out of oil. Someone said, don't never run out of oil. Listen, if you, if you miss your season this year, it's because your head lacked oil. The Bible says, live joyfully with the wife of your youth and let your garments always be white and let your head lack no oil. The reason why your head must not lack oil is that you don't know when an opportunity will come that you are not anointed. <laughs> what is your anointing service? Go for it. If nobody will anoint you, anoint yourself. Everybody got ready to trim their listen to get oil. Pam! Doom so had happened to all the ten. But the other ten had extra prepaid. They have been wise to buy prepaid. They have been wise to have oil hidden somewhere. Let me tell you, no matter what, don't use all your oil. Reserve some oil for the day of battle. Reserve some oil for the day that you need to meet an opportunity. I'm not talking to somebody at all. Yeah, I, t- I tell you, one of the things you find bridge you should do often is what we call the leper's grace. 
it, it is something you must do very, very often. If you really want to assess spiritual acceleration and speed in your life, you must do that leper's grace often. Now, when they came, this other people took oil and they poured their oil into their lamp and lit their fire. And the bride came, or the groom came, the bridegroom came, the brother who came, they all came. And come and see these five. How can we be hundred in church and only 10 people have bought a car in 2019? You don't have something. What is the difference? The person had oil. May you receive extra oil this year. I didn't hear you. I didn't hear you. I never travel outside without having my in and out transport with me. That is me. I won't travel to Kumasi and I say when I get there, God will make a way. I don't know how to do that. My transport in and out and in case is available because I have traveled before from Accra to Kumasi. When we got to Insawum and the driver said the car is spot, he will can repair it tomorrow. And I had to preach that night. And I didn't know what to do. And I checked and there was enough money. I picked another car because the driver would say, I will not give you money because this car, I will have to repair it. You are waiting two o'clock, three o'clock. Somebody is delaying your destiny because you don't have extra oil. Wow. You can decide to marry. And someone will tell you that, hey, you are deciding to marry. Eh? Ah, I will do this. I will do that. The person is not minding you. Master, do simple wedding and go for it. The most important thing is the ring and I do, I do, I swear, I swear, I agree, I agree. You go. All those are that thing. Sometimes you can live your life depending on what anybody can give you. Now, I like what the other five said. They went to the other person and said, can you borrow us some of the oil? They said, oil there you transfer. We can give you fire, but we cannot give you oil. Or if you see anybody who transfer oil to you. Don't underrate the person because oil must be bought. He said, they had to go and buy oil. I can transfer you my fire. If I give you fire, my fire does not diminish. But if I give you oil, my time has been reduced on earth. <laughs> the longevity of the lamp is decided by the amount of oil. So when yeah, let me let me maybe you don't understand me. Let me teach you well. I have a new phone. The phone is supposed to last three days. Battery. When I read it, I said you don't know FD Yale. Me, my phone, three days, no charge. I don't receive calls. Well. And you do call me, my phone, it is busy 24-7. I charge it, it's brand new for I charge it twice a day still. Just that this time it's a fast charger. So within one hour it is charged and it can last you like six hours. But I charge it like two, three times in a day. You your phone, you can even leave it one week now. Now what am I from? What's up on your video on download it? Oh beyond frail. Oh, you for phone as into beyond from not the phone. Sometimes three days you haven't forgotten you have phone. But anybody who uses their phone often will know that you must always have a source of power. When you use your phone often, and now you have backup battery, and you have to recharge this thing around you because you know that based on what you do, your phone will go. Not that you have a bad phone, but because you give so much, you must have something to recharge. Some of you, the reason why you are not getting your time is that you give so much, but nobody is fooling you back. So by the time it is time for you to get your miracle, you are emptied of oil. So you don't have what to take. And when it comes to oil, it's so expensive. Nobody gives it for free. Uh, when you say it's a 19 service, you come and we lay hands on you. Say, you fall, they say, pa, 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 Pastor, I powerfully. It's when I finish, I must go back and refill. I must go back for prayer, fasting, study of the word, and resuscitate it. If not, I will die. If not, I will fail. Some people can be there the whole month, the whole year. No man of God has laid hands on them and they are just there. This year, don't let that thing happen to you. 
No hand has been imparted to you. And you are hanging around. Say this year, my head will not lack oil. Oh. The Bible says, don't faint in the day of adversity. That's right. That's if you faint in the day of adversity, you are, you are, you are, you are non-entity. Well, one day sharp. When trouble comes, <coughs> amen. I didn't hear your amen. There are times, I've seen it several times, that my wife looks at me and says, you are a man. You know when she says, I'm a man? When nobody can do anything about a situation, and I get in, and I solve it, then that makes me a man. Because you can, you can have extra push where there was no push. Like the day my wife was leaving to the US. Mm. Mm. They got to the airport only to be told that their, her passport has expired. I said, eh? you must go. It was Thursday. It was Friday evening. I said, huh? You can't, it's your grandmother's funeral. She raised you up. It, if not for that woman, we will not have married. She pushed it and told the whole family that from childhood, she took care of you. And that she knows that you marry a pastor one day. You must go to the funeral in the U.S. And the funeral was Saturday. Friday! And they say, ticket non-refundable. Passport expire. If we like, we should put only a racy in the plane for a racy alone to go. The family said, put a racy in. We'll receive her. I said, no. We have to do something about this case. I began to look within myself. Call left, right, center. Who can do passport for me? Guess what? By 12 o'clock, Ghana, Ghana, Saturday, 12 o'clock, her passport was ready. 12 o'clock. And I went into myself. We were doing construction. She knows there was no money. I said, sweetheart, there is no money, but I know where there is money. I gave her brand new money to buy tickets. Fresh one, she and the racy. And I said, but when they refund, refund. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So that it can go to where it is coming from. Yeah? It was Friday. The puzzle was done on Friday. She was trying Thursday. It was done on Friday. And she traveled on Friday. Okay, yeah, she traveled on Friday. Friday! Less than 24 hours. Passport ready. She's carrying it. And route to America. They were there at the funeral grounds. Huh? This is the face of mother and daughter. They have arrived. She got to US and said, you are always a darling husband. Of course, you'll be a darling husband. When you can make the impossible possible, then I replied, but don't forget the refund. <laughs> so as soon as, after three weeks or so, they refunded the money, the money was deposited back to where it came from. I said, it's for tomorrow so that the oil doesn't run out. That oil, when it runs out, another emergency will come. When most of you, you don't know how to resuscitate an emergency. You use an emergency, you don't fill the place back. But a day of adversity will come and you will need to go back to where you borrow money, you won't pay. A trouble will come where you need that same person to borrow you money. And you know you already owe. You paid 50 cities, you paid 48. It's not you two cities. You have no pain. You can't go. Two cities. You owe two cities. I think I'm not preaching well. Eh, eh, God, who will I tend to? Yeah. The company that got an accident. The company that got an accident. I give you practical ones. When they brought, when somebody brought a car that I should buy, I look at the car. Holy Ghost said, the guy is 419. Don't buy. See, this car I want to. So I went to take it to God in prayer. And when I take it to God in prayer, God showed me the owner of the car. Unfortunately, unfortunately, the owner of the car is a prophet friend. So I called him and said, man of God, I see a vision. And you are driving brown Camry, golden color. He said, it is mine. I'm selling it. I said, bring it. When they came, the guy was selling it for more seven to me at almost 11,000. He came, says 5,000. I look at him and said, I don't have money. He said, you you are such a good man. I know you from childhood. You've given me enough. Take it. Any amount you want to pay, pay. But he said, can you put something down for me? I need something. 
I said, anything, something. I went from, there was a lady in the office. I said, I need 1,000 Ghana. They said, 1,000 right now. I said, yes, now. She gave it to me. I paid. Guess what? I paid her back. You know why? Because a day will come. The door you close today, you will need that door to open for you again. And when you don't know how to go back there, you will think that the devil is mighty. But nobody will help you if you close down. Hear me. When the people came, they said, let us give us some of the oil. They refused. They said, give me the scripture. They said, go and buy some. Look at something. Go and buy some. Be careful who you use your energy for. And let me tell you, so many people waste their energy. And this year, don't waste your energy. Just when you're about to get into a big appointment, someone will come and provoke you to anger. Make you so angry. that You go and insult. When they get to the office, you know, they say, what's wrong with you? You say, I'm going to Work out. Your, you have changed the environment with your facial expression. I, don't waste your time on people who are wasting their life. I want to read. What did they say? But he, the wise answered, if you are wise, this is how you answer, saying, lest there be no, not so. Give me New King James. Give me New King James. No, lest there should not be enough for us and you, but go rather to those who sell and buy for yourself. Answer me. He said, if I give you, there will not be enough for both of us. Listen, I have, we all have 100%. We've used all. Mine is left to 20%. The 20% can last for 20 minutes. The guess we've heard the sound that it is coming, but we don't know whether it will be now or not. Maybe it will be 20 minutes. If I give you 10, and I also take 10, by the time the person arrives for the miracle, the door will be shut on both of us because I gave you my anointing when I needed not to give you an anointing. So I'm not going to give you an anointing today. Why? Because I need to get in. At least when I get in, I come and tell you, I come and tell you the story of how we entered in. Don't waste your resources on people who are not serious with their life and not going anywhere. Both of you will end up failing. Is it true? It's not true. Eba bamu yina. Mushya di aso mushya. Na aso wajwa ni mu yina mushya. Eba mu yina F sharp. F sharp straight. At least pass it. Na wada funu mu se mushya di eboa. The guy said we are not giving you because if we give you, both of us will not enter. And when they were there, finally. <laughs> May you enter that final moment. They put oil in their lamp, trim their fire, and their food because I need some fire. I, I didn't say, I didn't say, I need some fire. Fire is an energy, fire is a propeller. How many of you know fire? Harry, there is cold sex and there's fire sex. Fire! Fire! That one, they tear dresses. We call it, I can't have enough of you. <laughs> then there's no more, how are you? Oh, baby. I got some pet. The fire one. Where you think? Where you think? That's when the, there's artificial hair. The guy takes it, throws it away. Then, you know, sometimes when you the guy, the lady himself throws it away. Move the heel, throws it away. Fire, 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 fire. In the Bible, call it passion. Some say passion. In English, we call it desire, desire. I always told you this. And the, the man, the last duty, the book, last duty. The man said, Desire in me has accumulated like a pass in the boil. I said, Pompey, I said, Pino. The big trip, not the pack. Oh, you know, I'll tell you one thing. Nobody takes me. Hey, ladies, don't pretend. You see a lady on fire. We're in the hill. Ta, ta. Then, psha. It is not a she movie. (laughs) 
When they don't want you, they say that. When the fire is gone, when the fire is gone, listen to me. When the fire is gone, oh, can we make it next week? If in my head is paining me, uh, the doctor said I'm not in the mood for all this. It put painkiller. No painkiller will change it. There's nothing that will change it. Fire is gone. Receive fire for your life. When fire comes on somebody and a person is coming to church, that is when the person is coming to church and the person is running. Running. What's this fire? When the Holy Ghost came on the disciples and they offend, it came like cleaving tongues of fire. Because when the oil is there, the oil will catch fire. And when the oil catches fire, it is seen. Anointing without fire is total to frustration. Many are anointed, but they have missed their time. Because anointing will not put you into time. It's the fire who will speed, that will speed up your time. When I'm talking, let's put the last bit of the fire. Let's put the last bit of the fire. Let's put the last bit of the fire. Look at the iron rods. It has shot up. Iron rods was supposed to buy for about 30,000 Ghana cities. Now it's almost 80 something thousand Ghana cities. What am I talking to you about? There is something I know that you don't know. What happens is that when the thing is used like fire, um, Archbishop, um, um, the friend said, also said, it is like fire in my bones. Jeremiah said, it is like fire in my bones and yes, honey on my lips. When it touches my lips, I get there. But when it gets into my body, it is like fire. If I like the honey. I don't like the fire. But the sweetness of the honey is the reason why I go for it. The reason why people suffer and they don't look at what they are suffering is because they look at what they will get. If not, no woman will have sex. If a woman looks at the baby that will be born and the thing they will go through, they will not, she should never have sex again. That is why most women, when they are giving birth, they insult them if they see you. She has sent you me. Look at what you've done to me. Me, 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 has made you forget the pain that you went through. When a person wants something, you can see it in their eyes. It is fire. When a man wants sex, that's why they advise women, if you need anything for a man, ask it at midnight, at dawn. Because when a man wants sex, hey, let me advise you. When a man wants sex, the brain doesn't work again. But be careful. When they are giving you promises, record it and write it. <laughs> Everything in their brain vanishes. All they are thinking about is shooting their gun. So our elders will say that talk to your husband at dawn. They don't mean to go and say, oh, my husband, please listen to me. That's not what they mean. No, that's not what they mean. Put him in the mood. And when everything is in the mood and is ready, say sweetheart. But last, I was telling you that we should not move from this house. This is what you think. Say, so, okay, you could not move. Let's continue. <laughs> is it true? <laughs> All right, sudden, the one said, no, 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 no. Hey, hey, that, that thing, put it aside. Let's continue with what we are doing. That one, you will move. We'll talk about it later. That's when the people, the slave queen said, <laughs> they put their hand in their hand and say, You say you give me 2,000, I'll make it 5,000. Hey, 5,000. But you see, you didn't add the other one. You need more. <laughs> then yeah, the ladies are just, then, the, before the man knows, he signed all the money out of his account. When he finishes, he said, Goes to the man and say, Please, anybody who comes with this check, don't give them the money. <laughs> They just woke up. Say fire. And he said, fire. This year, may you not like oil. May you not like fire. Fire will give you speed. Sometimes I need speed. I didn't say I need speed. I didn't say I need speed. I didn't say I need speed. Now, when they entered, the unfortunate thing is that when they entered the room, that I went to buy oil. Yes, you can get the oil to buy. 
But when they came back with their oil, the door was shut. Opportunity is gone. And they knocked and knocked and the doorkeeper said, get the, I don't know you. Ah, I was in the list. I was part of the report that the man of God prophesied upon. Ah, he even caught me. We have the video evidence. Yes. But the gates have been shut. Nobody enters when the gate is shut. May your gates not be shut this 2020. Uh, 2021. Eh? May your gates not be shut this 2021. Amen. I speak prophetically to you from the book of Isaiah chapter 61. May your gates, Isaiah 60, may your gates be open continually. Amen. May Give it to me. May your gates be open continually so that they will bring you goods in and out. Amen. The Bible said, and your gates shall be open continually so that the Gentiles will come in. Everybody read it for me. I love it. Say what? Therefore, your gates shall be open continually. They shall Shall not be shut day or night. Day or night is time that men may bring to you the wealth of the Gentiles and your kings in possession. Let me tell you this: when your oil gets finished, the gate is shut. Feed whoever feeds you. Empower anybody who empowers you. Growth anybody who has clothed you before. Grace, anybody who has graced you before. Grace, anybody who has graced you before. You see, when you don't do that, a time will come. You will need fire. You have to buy for it. You have to pay for it. But if you have been greasing and feeding the place, people will give it to you for free and you will not have bought it. I believe that the five people will not give to these people because they have never invested back in them. They have never. And anything you don't invest in, you don't have a right of entry. Anything you don't want. You don't have right to it. You should invest in what has invested in you. The day they said Akosombo Dam was going down, I said, if I was president, don't laugh at me. Everybody will take a gallon and fetch whatever point inside. Because it has fed us before. We, I went to Addis Abeba College. We donate every year to paint our school because that is the school that took care of us. So we also keep the school going. May your doors not be shut this year. Anytime you go to battle, never go back again until you have been re-equipped. Until you have gone for hands to be laid on you. Until you have gone to be fed back again. You go back and you fight. You go back, you feed. You go back, you fight. You go back, you feed. Why? Then when your season comes, you can still have the energy. You can still have the edge. You can still have the grace to enter into it. I see many people who opportunities came. God gave you money. Instead of you saving the money, you use it to buy a corner, both fruit, donut, you ate. You didn't replace it. Now God gave you an opportunity. Now you are praying for money. God will not give you money. Vomit that. 